keeping your scissors sharp is very important when you're a dressmaker. And the reason is you want to be able to handle really silky soft fabrics like this that are slippery and you want them to be able to stay still on the table as you cut through. Now, as you can see, these scissors are ready for a tune-up. There are two different ways I sharpen my scissors. I keep them mainly tuned up regularly by cutting into foil. So if I just have a little play there, you can see I'm just cutting into this foil. Nothing special, just regular tin foil from packet. Let's see if that's made a difference. Made a little bit of a difference. And if I just keep at it for a while, already see an improvement in my scissor. So let's give them a wipe just in case there's glue on there. Now I use baby wipes. Baby wipes are fantastic. They get rid of glue, any adhesives that you've used. If you've just cut some paper accidentally because you forgot the, which scissors that you were using. Just keep cutting into some foil until you finally get there. Now occasionally you'll find that you've got a, size, a sort of a burr or a nick in your scissors and that's why they won't cut. Get yourself some sandpaper. I have some 120 grain sandpaper here. What you want to do is wrap it around something quite Wrap it around something sturdy because what you want to do is go sand at an angle to the blade. And what you're doing is getting rid of any spurs, you're honing your blade back to shape. Give that a wipe. There we go. Perfect. So we've managed to get rid of that burr. And we've got a lovely cut. Just grab yourself some sewing machine oil and pop it between the blades there. And just rub a little bit on the edge of the blade. And then that's ready to use. Perfect. The same goes with pinking shears. So just keep them tuned up. Now these, believe it or not, had been completely ruined by the children who use them to create some wonderful paper decorations. But after a play with some foil, I've managed to get them to be perfect again. So they work as they should. And just check all the time. So you can see there, not a good cut there. So grab some more foil. I need to get close to this edge. Let's work on that piece there. Let's give that a go. Don't want that fabric moving along when I cut. Much better. 
So really what I want is that fabric to stay with, with in the position it's meant to. And this is quite a slippery surface that we're on. Right, so that's those done. Let's just check these last ones. And these are fine. So we'll just do a little bit of tuning up on these. you haven't any sandpaper to hand you might have an emery board or a nail file bit um, if you find that you have a nick in any of these just follow the blade with the finer side of the emery board get rid of any burrs any nicks and just Sharpen them up a little bit. Perfect. And just remember to put them away somewhere safe where they're not going to get knocked or damaged. I want to show you this gadget here. This is a tuner from Fiskars. It's metal bars. So that demonstrates to you how you need your scissors to be sharpened on steel. It has a thumb grip there and you just cut into. Now these scissors are already sharp so I don't need to do this for very, much, very much. But they only need one or two, maybe three cuts into there and they keep my scissors nice. Hope this has been helpful to you. Um, comment below and let me know how you get on. See you soon.